Welcome to episode number 229 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're talking about getting all the lanes in your life moving in the same direction. Because it's no good when they're different directions. It doesn't work. Trust me. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I've been doing so much in, in the recent days and months and year, so I'm a busy person. But one of the things that I hear people say is how do I know what to stop doing? I hear this conversation when you, you talk about like, I don't know, like productivity experts and people say you have to stop doing things and quit doing things and life is less about what you choose to do and more about what you choose not to do. And there is a lot of truth in that, I'm sure. Um, a lot of us are doing things that we shouldn't be doing, but sometimes we're doing a lot of things that it, we feel like we should be doing and a lot of things that are productive and a lot of things that are beneficial and we see good things happening across, across the plane of the things that we're doing. And so I asked my business coach, Dave Meltzer, I said, um, how, can, how can I know which things I should stop doing and what things I should put more attention into. And I thought I was going to get some really profound answer and he was going to tell me and help me understand what I should stop doing based on some criteria. Well, he did give me a profound answer and it was this. You need to stop spending so much time thinking about what you should stop doing and start focusing your energy and your tension and your mentality on how you get all the things you're doing to move in the same direction. And all of a sudden, the light went off and that felt like such a better answer to me, not just because I like doing a lot of things, but I realized that in all of the different things that I have going on, and there are a lot, right? Multiple businesses, some commercial properties, a family that I care about cultivating. I have kids of all different ages from 15 to 13 to 10 to two. I've been married for 20 years and marriage takes continual work and investment, right? All of these things in an order of priority how do I figure out how to get them all to move in the same direction? And when Dave Meltzer said that to me on the phone call, all of a sudden I realized spending time on those things was going to be very beneficial. So I've really spent the last probably five months paying attention to things like that, paying attention to how can I get this thing in my life to serve this thing and then have it actually be reciprocal and give value back because it really is a value transfer. You know, when people talk about work-life balance, finding the perfect balance is unachievable and unrealistic, that you're going to find the perfect balance and you'll be able to hold it steady there and that it'll, it'll be fine. I don't know if you've, you've ever driven a boat or had, a, had an opportunity to drive a boat or a wave runner or something like that. It, the, the, the metaphor will work if you've driven a car before, but something about driving a boat is just a little bit clearer for me. So what happens when you're driving a boat? Obviously, you're in the water. And when you're in a lake or an ocean, I, I usually boat in a lake. So when you're in a lake, you have different dynamics that are at play. You have the wind that is blowing from a certain direction. You have other boats and other craft going by you and they produce wake in the water. And that wake, when it hits your boat, is gonna push it left or right. So when you're moving forward in your boat, if you were to just hold the steering wheel in one position, guess what? You're not gonna go straight. You're gonna go whichever way the waves and the wake and the wind decide they are gonna push your boat. So you cannot just have a balance where you hold the wheel straight. It doesn't work. What you actually have to do is constantly make a lot of micro adjustments to keep the boat going in the same direction. And sometimes you have to make major adjustments to avoid if you know a big ski boat goes by and there's big waves, you need to actually turn the boat for a second to head into that wake so you cross over it in, in a perpendicular mental or perpendicular way, just, you know, it, it is how you, you're supposed to do it. You actually go into the waves, but you have to make a major correction to make sure you get through that okay and calmly, and then you can re remain on your course. So this concept of work-life balance being a perfect thing is a myth. It doesn't actually exist. It's a constant going a little bit this way, giving here and taking there and giving there and taking here so that both sides can have what they need when they need it because the needs of your family are different at times and the needs of your business are different at times and the needs of your volunteer work and the needs of your, your extended family maybe, right? Or maybe even your own needs, like your own mental and emotional and physical needs, 
right? Sometimes like you need to spend more time on your health. So disproportionately, maybe you give that a little bit more time and attention so that then you can be better and have more energy and time and mental capacity for your family and for your business and the people that depend on you. So I started thinking a lot about how the lanes in my life work together. And as I started considering that, things, I realized I was able to navigate all the things in my life much better. Not only that, I was able to provide more resources to all of the different lanes in my life, right? Having several businesses, I have several sets of obligations to several different groups of people. And, you know, I, I, I'm the kind of person that wants to give everyone all of my energy all of the time, and I'm just incapable of doing that, right? So having different lanes in my life, being able to feed into and provide opportunity for the other lanes is something that I've really been enjoying. And, and like, I really go back to what, what Dave told me and I realize it's so true. It's getting that synergy in my life that serves one lane, serves the other lane, and that lane serves this lane. And all of that is pretty fulfilling. Now, I certainly don't have it all dialed in. I certainly haven't figured it all out. I have a lot of work to do. Um, a lot of times I will, I will drop the ball in a lane or multiple lanes. Um, sometimes the lanes start to, to diverge and pull apart, you know, and the gap between the lanes gets bigger. Then I have to do some really meaningful and intentional work to pull the lanes back together. Um, but that's why it's work. If it wasn't work, they wouldn't call it work, right? And if it was easy, everybody would do it. So, um, you know, I just wanted to share that in a time we're halfway through the year, right? Today, when we're uh, releasing this podcast, we just got through the 4th of July weekend. And this kind of marks the, the official start of the second half of the year. The first half of the year, a lot of waves, but a lot of work, but a lot of good things. And I'm really optimistic going into the second half of the year. I try not to listen and spend too much time listening to the news and the media and Twitter, because the more, the more of that happens, the more pessimistic you become, there's an old saying, it's like, hey, you know what? If you keep talking about a recession, sooner or later, you're going to find yourself in one. Now, I don't know if we're going to be in a recession, but the point is that that's a lot of things that I can't change. But what I can focus on and I can change is making sure the lanes of my life are running in the same direction so everyone can be served well by everyone else. First and foremost for me, it's my marriage, it's my parenting, it's my kids, right, being a dad. And then from then, it's all the groups of people that I have obligations to as a leader and as a business partner. And I've always approached things in this way from a business standpoint. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, like my family standpoint as well. And it goes like this. My job and my obligation is to provide the most amount of opportunity for the most amount of people, for the greatest amount of people. To provide the most amount of opportunity for the most amount of people or the greatest amount of opportunity for the highest amount of people. I don't know where the grammar lands, but you get the point. So I hope that for some way and some reason, talking about these things with you today helps you provide more opportunity for yourself and for the people who rely on you to provide for them. Let's get those lanes in the right direction and the right alignment, moving all together so we can have a better perspective on the big picture. We have that perspective. You know what I'm going to say. Got that clarity. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending some time with me. I hope this moves you forward in your life in the same direction. I'll see you next week. We came to fight.